Heat is the flow of energy between two systems due to a temperature difference. And there are three ways that you can get the heat from one side to the other. Uh, the first one is uh, radiation. So radiation is when you get energy transfer through emission of electromagnetic waves. So like here's my really, really hot object and light waves are coming off of it. And so heat's going from there to a colder object somewhere else. Uh, we're gonna get to this one later when we get into electromagnetic waves. The other one is convection, and that's energy transfer because of the bulk movement of a fluid. Uh, so like you have a pan and you heat up the middle part and the heat is rising around and you get these convection cells that go around. Um, happens when it's, when it's on the ground and you have a little like right, this and heat comes off of it and this chunk of air rides up and you can see the, uh, the birds that are flying in it, the little, um, those buzzards that are, or the vultures as they go around in these circles and they ride the, the air up. And this is natural convection. That means this is, there's nothing, you're not doing anything, it's just due to a changing density of the air that it begins to float and then it just takes it with it. Here it's the changing density of the liquid and it begins to float up to the top as it's less dense. There's also something that's called uh, forced convection. So forced convection would be like in your house. Uh, here's your house. And then you have your furnace somewhere uh, somewhere in the back room, room or somewhere back there and you have a little little fire going on and then it heats up some air, heats up a chunk of air. Um, this chunk of air gets hot and then there is a fan that uh, there's, a drip, there's a little fan somewhere inside of a housing that then blows this air through some ducts into your house. So this air then transfers through and comes out and goes through here and goes out and then through the grates that are in your top. And so now this hot air is, the heat is transferred from here into here and you feel happy because now you're nice and warm. Uh, it works in your car. There's a lot of forced convections. A forced convection oven will do that as well, except as you have your, your little oven and you have your food in here, there's a little fan in the back that's blowing the hot air around as you cook your turkey or whatever. Now, the one we're going to look at a little bit more is conduction. Conduction is energy transferred directly through a material without movement of the material itself. So here we have two objects. They, uh, here's object A and here's object B. Object A is at some high temperature TH or T of the hot side. And then B is at some temperature, TC, which is T of the cold side. By definition, TH is greater than TC. If TC is greater than TH, then TC, then this becomes the hot side and that becomes the cold side. But now these two aren't touching each other. I need to shove something in between them. So I will put a tube, all right? So now heat's gonna flow from the hot side to the cold side. Now, what's the what's the Q over T? What's the rate of heat transfer? This is called H. So, things that will affect this: uh, the cross-sectional area. So, the area of the tube that you're sending it down, or the square that's moving it's moving through. So, the rate of heat transfer is going to be, the larger the area, the more heat is transferred. The temperature difference, TH minus TC, that delta T. The larger that delta T, the larger this delta T, the more heat's going to flow across, so it needs to be on the top. The type of material it is, this is called the, co uh, the coefficient of uh, heat transfer. Of heat transfer. And that's heat trans there's a heat in there, heat transfer. That's also on top. Uh, also, the length of this rod. As that rod gets longer, less and less heat goes through. So there's our equation. The rate of heat transfer is the coefficient area delta T over L. Now, there is an equation alert. The book has the equation in a different form than the equation sheet. So. We, the College Board, uses this form. 
Now you do a little bit of math and you move things around and the book looks at the amount of heat transferred in a certain amount of time. So it puts T, so it takes T and it moves it to the other side. So it's gonna, when you're using it in the book, it's gonna look a little bit different. So let's actually do one. Here's my house. My house is a giant picture window in the front. It's made of glass. Glass has a coefficient of 0 0.8. Coefficient of heat transfer of 0 0.8. It's a huge window. It's 1.8 by 2.2 meters and it's 7.5 millimeters thick. How much heat am I losing, am I le is leaving my house in the winter time? Where inside is, here's me, yay. Inside is 22 degrees, but outside is five degrees C. So let's take a look at my window so we're going to have inside is 22 degrees C. Here's my glass window, which is 7.5 millimeters thick. And then outside is 5 degrees C. How much, how much heat am I losing here? So let's change colors because I'm getting tired of it. So H is going to be K A delta T over L. K is 0 0.8 times the area, which is 1.8 times 2.2 times the delta T, which is 22 inside, it's five degrees outside, inside. That is 22 minus five is 17 degrees. And then the length is how much heat it needs to tramp through. That's 75 millimeters, 0 0.0075 meters. When you multiply all this out, uh, 0.8 times 1.8 times 2.2 times 7, oops, 17 equals divided by 0 0.0075 equals 7180.8 joules per second, which is a watt. So I'm losing 7,000 watts through that wall. Uh, so 7,000 joules per second through that window. So if I wanted a heater to put inside of here, I wanted a heater, which is, why is it blue? Because it's the client. I have a heater that's coming off and there's heat coming off. How big a heater do I need? I need a 7,000 watt heater or a seven kilowatt heater. I just looked this up on the internet and they cost about $600. That's just to replace the heat that's coming through my window. If I get a bigger one, say about a 10 kilowatt, that's about $1,000. I should probably fix that window.